the Rossi Model 28, 32 Smith & Wesson long. Let's talk about it. Hello all. Just wanted to make a quick video about this revolver I purchased recently. It is a Rossi and it's a 32 Smith & Wesson long. Um, though I don't have anything sitting on the table, it came with this little box and some paperwork and the paperwork shows the model. It's a Model 28. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't say that anywhere on the pistol uh, at all. So even in the space under the cylinder where the crane is, there are no numbers, no stampings, um, nothing that indicates what model number it is anywhere on the firearm. Uh, serial numbers underneath where you would typically see it. Clearly marked 32 long. Made in Brazil. Firearms International. So the only information I have about this, uh, and I searched and researched high and low before I purchased it, looking for any information I could and found almost nothing. Uh, specifically about this model. There was plenty about some other models of Rossi and, and uh, trust me in the comment section, I'm not looking for anybody's comments about the caliber or the brand. I'm just, I couldn't find any information. I couldn't find any videos on it um, on this particular one. So I figured I'd make one myself and, and make it available for others who might be doing some research on this same thing. Uh, the, the grips are plastic. This particular gun, from what I could tell um, in all the research that I did, Rossi made these in the 60s. So this is probably sometime in the late 60s, 67, 68, 69, um, based on the importer. Firearms International was the importer until 1970. I'm just guessing at the exact date. It might be off a little bit. but So this is about 50 years old, and this particular one is in pristine condition. And somebody must have had it in this little box that it came in, sitting in their closet forever. Um, when I got it, I did have to clean it up. It had a little, little patina of, I don't even want to say rust because it didn't touch the finish. But when you wiped it off with oil, it did come away with a tiny bit of rust on it. Uh, but it functions very well. I oiled it up um, and it, it seems to function very well. Um, so something that did happen uh, when I was installing a spring kit in my Smith & Wesson J-frame, I have a little 640, uh, I was taking it apart and noticed the frame was cracked, which was unfortunate and I guess somewhat unusual, not unheard of. So I sent it back to Smith & Wesson. In the meantime, I had an Apex, Apex trigger spring kit and, and I thought, well, why not? Why not try putting it in here? So I did, I installed the hammer spring. I tried to install the trigger rebound spring. That did not fit, but the hammer spring fit just fine. Um, unfortunately, as you can see, it doesn't work. It's too light. So I'm gonna, I put the original one back in. Um, the, uh, there obviously isn't a spring kit specifically for this pistol. So kind of out of luck there. Uh, just so you know, if anybody's like, hey, uh, I wonder if a spring kit will work on this, not the one made for the Smith & Wesson J-Frames. Um, other than that, I think that's pretty much it. Very, very pleased with this little thing. It's very light, uh, very small. You get a full six shots and uh, it's a pretty little gun. And I probably will, this will probably be a gift uh, for a family member and uh, that's it. I hope you guys got something out of this because I know I struggled to find some paperwork or excuse me, some information on this online. Um, and that's why I made this video.